Okay, so we're going to look at uh, the adding of sound to this class uh, 52 from DAPL. So I've got um, the Southwest digital sound. Uh, this came from Roads and Rails. Uh, so it comes on a Lock Sound 5 decoder, which we've got here. So we're going to take this out of the box, take a quick look at it, and then we'll take uh, a look at the locomotive and op open up the locomotive. So we'll just get rid of that. So we've got our Lock Sound 5 decoder here, and we've got our Megabass speaker uh, with it. So, and it is connected directly uh, to it. So that's that's fine, and I think there should be enough length on those wires uh, when we fit this in the locomotive. So let's go and take a look at what we need to do get, to get this guy open. Uh, so I've just keep holding it with this uh, little bit of cellophane around the outside because um, it is weathered, so I want to uh, preserve the weathering as best I can. So I'm just going to be using that when I'm taking off the top body. So we've got four screws that we need to remove. And uh, these four screws at the top, as you can see them, and there's another two screws at the bottom there, so four screws in total. So let's, uh, let's take those off and uh, let's see what, uh, where we get to. So we're just taking out the last of the screws here. And I think um, something to note really is that the, and something I'm quite pleased to see from DAPO, as you can see there's a brass insert there for the screw. Um, and that's pretty good, don't usually see that. Usually people are relying on the plastic, etc., to take the screw, uh, so that's good to see from, from Dapple. So let's see if we can ease off the body. And, well, the body comes off very easily, very easily indeed. So, um, so that's great to see. Now we'll just be gentle there. So I might just put this guy Underneath here, just to protect it from the side, so I don't get any scratches or anything like that. So let's just do that and leave them down gently. Uh, we can obviously remove this plug if we wanted to. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We've got our header here uh, with our DCC installed, uh, which some wires covered there, and we've got a place for a large speaker here. So um, we're going to be using obviously a smaller speaker. So let's get this guy out. Uh, we'll just ease him up and I'll just get a little plastic that's it. Okay, so that's the just the blanking plate for the DCC. So we're going to get our decoder now So let's get our orientation right here So We've got the pin one up the top there So lock sound 5 is in place, and now we need to get the speaker in place. So let's just see how best to maybe mount this guy down here. Now it doesn't quite fit between the, the lugs as they stand. Okay, so we're going to have to put him in the middle here. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll get some double-sided sticky and put him there. So... Let me just do that, and then we'll we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll just see what what it looks like, and then we'll next thing we'll do is we we'll need to put this on the track and start doing some testing. But I think the first point here is that the body removal for uh, this class fifty two is really good, and there you can see the little screws or the little uh, receptacles for the screws that are brass. So that's uh, very nice quality to see that. Okay, I've got a little uh, double sided sticky. Here, um, that I've cut off a roll. Um, so this is a roll I picked up in um, Pound Shop. So it did serve me very well, thankfully. So just put stick this on the back of the speaker. Let me just train these wires around here a little bit to uh, take the stress off them. And we'll just put this guy as close as we can here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that's neat. And I think we can just put the lid back on. 
give it a cover and we'll do that. I'm not going to screw this down yet, uh, so I'm just going to test this out on the track and then we'll, uh, we'll see how she does. So very straightforward DCC installation for the Class 52. And that's, um, I think, credit to Dapple. Okay, so now we're going to get into some testing on the track. So uh, we'll start out with the lighting, uh, the directional lighting F0. So you can see it coming on there. We'll reverse the direction so we can see the rear marker lights. You can see that there. Uh, we'll then get in look at the cab lighting now. These are the auxiliary controls and uh, Interestingly on this particular sound package they're in reverse order So the first one is the rear cab light and then there's a separate control for the front cab light uh, Which will turn on now and you can see it there and I think it's the lighting is actually pretty good on these locomotives Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is start up the engine So it's just starting up, you can probably just start to hear it kick in there. We're going to test the two horns, so I think for the first horn I'd advise you to cover your ears. Loud. Uh, we'll do a test on the second horn, which is not as, not, not as loud. Uh, we're just going to do a couple of sounds. We'll do the guard's whistle here. And interestingly, that's followed automatically by the short horn. And you can mute the sound, so we'll, uh, we'll do that now with F16. And it's got a very interesting uh, kind of auto uncouple and it kind of goes through this uh, little procedure here which is all controlled by the function and if you're using uh, suitable couplers uh, you may be able to make good use of that the last thing we're going to do is just do a test on the, f the flange squeal and we'll turn that on and we'll start up the locomotive and move it slowly so it starts to kick in at about 10 miles an hour so they're kind of some of the main sounds. Uh, it looks like our sound is, is up and running. And there is a, re a video from Roads and Rails uh, we're using an EM2 speaker. Uh, now you do need to modify the body for that. This uh, locomotive, the Dapol 52, can accommodate a bass reflex speaker up to a measurement of 58 millimeters by 22 millimeters by 10 millimeters. So that can actually fit without any modification. If you want to go to an EM2, you're going to have to modify the actual chassis of the engine. You're going to have to uh, literally pair off some metal metal to fit that in so i don't think that's going to be for everybody so hopefully that gives you an idea of adding sound to the class 52 i think i i was using a mega bass speaker here so, so it's probably not as good as if you did do the full bass reflex so i will be upgrading the sound on this actually i will be getting some of those speakers eight ohm versions of them and they will work with pretty well all, all my decoders as well which is good so I hope this was useful. If you've got a, any experience with Class 52 sound, please share that in the comments. I've been running with the Southwest Digital Sound here, which is supposed to be one of the better ones, but obviously you've got Legoman Biffo, you've got a number of other options, House, uh, etc. So there are other options for sound for the Class 52. This one was one of the ones recommended by Roads and Rails, and I think it's pretty good, but that's not to say there aren't better ones out there. So please give your feedback in the comments. Uh, that would be appreciated and uh, share your experience. That'd be great. Okay. Thanks for watching today. See, see you on the next one. And in the meantime, happy modeling.